we hear in the first reading today that we are not to put our trust in the things of the flesh. That is, St. Paul is making a distinction here. Instead of folks being considered righteous because of their descendancy and because of their observance outwardly of the law, rather he says that the thing that is more important is that we worship through the Spirit of God. We who worship through the Spirit of God. So it's interesting. He's even saying that what we do in terms of our prayer has to be motivated by God. It is the Holy Spirit who makes intercession for us, we hear in the Scriptures. It's the Holy Spirit in whom we are to be praying. Otherwise, if we pray without the Holy Spirit, sure, we're doing something, but it's very fleshy. What we want to see is this, that God is the one who searches for us. That's what we hear in the Gospel today. God is the one who is searching for the lost sheep. He's the one who's searching for the lost coin. And his joy is when we turn to him in our hearts. When we ask for mercy. When we ask for what we need in order to pray the way we are called to pray. Not in our own flesh. Not in our own action. But turning to the Lord and saying, Lord... I don't even know how to pray properly. So pray in me, Holy Spirit. Pray in me so that I can be praying with you. And I think this is difficult sometimes because we, we get used to our, our routines. And this is, this is something that we all go through as Catholics and as human beings. And when I speak to pastors of other denominations, they say that they have the same problems too, of trying to have people recognize the difference between healthy discipline and assuming that their discipline is what is gaining them access to God. There's a difference. What's gaining us access to God is God's goodness, God's love for us, God's mercy, God's grace. God's joy in welcoming us into the kingdom. As we heard in the psalm, it says, Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord, because he's searching for us more than we could ever imagine. He's the one who is actively engaging, trying to engage us. And so there is this Christian passivity that sometimes takes place, which some people say, Well, Father, if, if we're supposed to be passive, what's my part? What's my role? Our role is to be attentive and to yield to the Holy Spirit. Our role is to keep watch for the movements of God's grace and then say yes to them. Our role is to guard against the movements that would be towards the flesh, that would take pride in oneself. Ah, I did all these prayers today. I'm good. Instead of saying, you know, God, you're good and I enjoy your presence and I therefore want to worship in your presence. So this is what our scriptures are saying to us. They're, they're helping us to divide between bone and flesh in terms of the sword of the spirit. It's helping us to know what our heart attitudes are and helping us to put our proper attitude in God.